Hello all. So today uh, it's going to be a continuation of the previous session that is two dimensional sketching. All right. I welcome you all to the tutorial. So I'm just going to click on new. I'm just going to create uh, my sketcher. I'm just going to select my random plane. Now I just have a random plane. So the sketch that we're going to do today is it is an arbor press base and it has all the dimensions here. So just for a quick view, we just look at the dimensions. All right. And everything that uh, you see then uh, the values here, right? So these are the dimension constraints and whatever you see here, uh, the symbols. So these symbols are nothing but the geometric constraints. So let's go ahead and try to uh, draw the sketch. So whenever you draw a sketch, focus on the uh, major outline. So the basic outline of the sketch. All right. So first, let's try to create this uh, outer sketch. So let me start off with the base. It's 110.5. Just select the line. Just draw a line. Okay. Uh, let me keep, switch off the uh, continuous auto dimensioning. Okay. So that we can learn it a little more better. So I first have this line here, and I'm going to draw another line. And let's draw a rough uh, figure about this. Okay. And you see this, uh, the trace lines. So the trace lines is basically shows like where exactly this point meets up with the other point. Okay, so that's a really good option. And just click here. So now we have the base, uh, the basic profile. So here we need uh, this particular baseline. We've got this outer curve is covered, and let's try to uh, make this the mid of this particular y-axis, the vertical axis, okay. So for that I'm going to use geometric constraint and the shortcut for geometric constraint is C. I'm going to click on the midpoint constraint and always ensure this is checked on. Click on this line, select the vertical constraint, okay. So now this is constraint. Let me do the same thing even with this. So even that is in the center, okay. So midpoint. Just click on the line, just select the line, it's all there, okay. So now what is the dimension here? 110.5 and this is 77.5. So just hit on D for dimensional constraint. Select uh, Infert. You can just uh, select this point and select this point and just drag it up. And can just zoom out a little, okay. So this is uh, 0.5, and this is so just double click on this, and you can change the value 110.5. Awesome. Uh, this one would be 77.5 okay and and you can use control F for fit or you also have the option here okay so now if you see here uh, it looks a little shorter here so let's check uh, why exactly it is so we need to check the other dimensions as well so let's give this length, the overall length, 138.8, okay. Info, let me select this line. I'm just going to zoom out a little, just going to place it here, 
Okay, just gonna give fit. Okay, that sounds good. So looks like it's still uh, moving because we are not given the remaining dimensions. So first we need to align this with uh, give a dimension with respect to the horizontal and the vertical. All right. So this uh, vertical thing is covered. Uh, if you notice, I would not be able to uh, move this particular thing uh, even more. This uh, line. Okay. This is because this dimension is already given the horizontal dimension. Okay. And I'm cons I've already given a midpoint constraint for this. So now what I need to do is I'm going to give this particular dimension. So with respect to the sketch horizontal axis, either I'm, I need to give this dimension or this dimension. Any one would do because we already defined the length, length here. Okay. So open a uh, dimension constraint again, wrap a dimension. And I just select inferred, I just select this one, this one. Okay, so let me just give this something like 20. Okay, in case I want to geometrically constrain it. Okay, I just hit control, just do control Z. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose geometric constraint and I'm going to use, uh, you can use collinear. And I just select this line and just place it on the sketch horizontal axis. Okay. And so here I have it. And it's always better when you do it with respect to uh, keeping it on the origin line or at least at the midpoint exactly. So so when you do the uh, sketches, uh, it will be really easy for you. Okay. So now it says sketch needs uh, two constraints. Let's look at it. So like I mentioned in my previous class, the easiest way to find out is drag this, okay? So you'll be able to drag this. That's the reason uh, it says to constraint because this length is not defined. Either you can define it by the length or you can define it by the angle, okay? So let's see if there is a length in the uh, diagram. Oh yes, here it is. It's 77, okay? So it's mentioned as equal length, that equal equality symbol. So I'm just going to define one here, okay? So that is 77. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check for the geometric constraint, okay? So I'm just going to use the equality, equal length symbol. And I want the same length as this, okay? So I'm just going to select both of it. Okay, so now we have our equality constraint. And so it sketches fully constrained, okay? So let's add the remaining features. So we have a base profile now, okay? And now let's try to add the other features. So we have uh, one profile here and this one profile here, okay? So Let's do uh, this profile uh, first, this uh, rectangle that you see, okay. So it says 28.5 and these both are like equal length and they've also given us the uh, height, that is 35. So it's a rectangle with 28.5 cross 35, okay. Just zoomed out and let me just select a rectangle. So I'll choose the first method itself by two points. So just place a random rectangle. Okay, and first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to geometrically constrain it, keep the midpoint, select this, and select the uh, vertical axis. Okay, so now it's at the midpoint, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to define the height and the length. We have our values now and double click and change the values 28.5 okay and then next value that we have is 35 okay So now what we need to do is, uh, let's check the drawing. 
so if you see this 35 begins from the top of the line right so what we're going to do is we're going to make that particular line collinear with this particular line okay with the baseline so hit the geometrical constraint again select the collinear line and select this line and select this line okay so now it lies on the same line all right and so here's a new command that i'm going to teach you and that is nothing but trim and the shortcut would be t and if you want to look for the option if you go to uh just expand this and you would see uh this edit curve option so under this edit curve you have like a lot of other options like chamfer fillet quick trim quick extend make corner so we'll discuss all of these options one by one as in when we progress in the sketch so now i'm going to use the quick trim which is a very easy tool okay so you can either select this just select this line it will give you a quick pick option okay there are two lines because the previous line as well as the new rectangle line okay so just select this and now we have trimmed this particular thing okay so it says the sketch needs uh three constraints so i hope you're able to guess like which is that is that correct do you realize which one is got deleted let me do the control z and show that to you do you see this like two dimensions which were there so 28.5 was the dimension of this particular thing so when i deleted this line this got deleted as well okay so that's why it's always advisable always do the uh, geometrical constraint first and then do the dimension constraint okay so no problem so let's try to uh, trim this again and and while trimming not just that you can click it you can even drag your line just press and drag it so you just draw a line and that line gets deleted okay so now let's uh, dimension this hit dimensional constraint d so given infer constraint select the points or because you select infer you can even click on the line and drag it you'll get your uh, dimensions okay so this one would be 28.5 and now your sketch says it still needs like two constraints so let's see which constraint is that so you see this so the top thing is gone so basically the vertical constraint is gone okay so what i'm going to do is first thing let me just give an equal equal constraint okay equal length okay so sketch needs one more constraint all right and that one constraint is nothing but your vertical constraint okay so, so the vertical constraint is this one okay so just select vertical just click on any one line okay and just select this line as well so both these ones are like vertically constrained okay so you see i'll not be able to move this this side i'll not be able to move this this side okay so sketch needs one constraint so let's find out which constraint that is so and if you notice this particular th line has a midpoint constraint but however if you remember we had given a midpoint constraint for the top line and when we trimmed out that line that particular midpoint constraint also got deleted okay so you need to be really watchful when you're working with the dimensions and so what I'm going to do right now is that I don't need a midpoint here because in ways there's no line here, okay? And I'll be able to drag this. Uh, so I need to fix this, right? So I can fix this by giving it uh, same dimension for this one as well as this one. So for these two lines, I don't have to give a dimensional constraint. So I'll just select the equal length, okay? And I'm just going to select both the lines. And that will make it fully constrained, all right? And so are we close enough to this uh, sketch let's check okay we achieved this this profile is achieved okay okay coming to this profile so what is this this is a semicircle right so what we can do is we can just draw a circle and what would be the radius so if you see that this is this will be the diameter from here to here this point okay so that is 64.4 that will be your diameter so let's draw that and let's see from where it's starting it's starting somewhere from the axis so i'm i'm not going to do it from the axis so uh, so if you want we can still do it from the axis so let me show you how to do that as well so you would understand in case you go wrong as well right so you would be able to uh, correct it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, 
delete this particular constraint okay right click select from list this collinear constraint okay just select and delete it okay so now i have one constraint left so basically i'll be able to drag it so i'm just going to uh, define the height first and the height is 28 okay select dimension constraint I'm just going to give a height okay and now sketch is fully constrained and let's try to draw the circle of diameter 64.4 from the center okay and let it be circled by center point itself center and diameter just select the center and the diameter is 64.4 okay and now this is a, a picture I have okay so we've achieved it so now what I'm going to do is I need this particular line and I don't want this line right so first of all before I trim this up see, I, I, I'll not be able to trim this up because I need a line so if I have to show you the difference so if I just click here if I trim the line is gone completely okay but that's not what I need right now so I need only this particular part of it to go so either I can draw a line like this on the uh, horizontal axis and then I can trim it okay trim this below part or else we can just complete the curve as it is given okay and then we can go ahead and trim it so I'm just going to select line just click anywhere on the surface and if you're not able to pick so if you see this particular uh, high, thing highlighted in uh, blue and red so uh, if you go see here on the top, you have all these uh, selection filters, okay? So it has the end point, midpoint, uh, control point, and there is something called as point on curve, okay? So this point on curve, if it is switched off, you will not be able to select anything. If you see uh, the red and blue is some is just highlighted here. It does not highlight it here, okay? In case you have that problem, just make sure the point on curve is checked on okay so you'll be able to drag it okay so now I'm just gonna uh, click here okay I'm just gonna click here and do you see the symbol now the symbol which you see now is called a tangency symbol so it's automatically taking a geometric constraint okay and if it doesn't not take it also we can add it a little later no problem okay so from here I'm just gonna select uh, keep it vertical okay just hit escape and I'm gonna do the same thing uh, even here so just select a line and shortcut for line is L okay and now what I need to do is I need to ensure this these both these both lines are tangent to each other okay hit C and I need to click on the tangency symbol okay this one with this one and it'll say constraint already exists because uh, when we had actually uh, place that particular line right so it had already given us that option so uh, of the tangency symbol right so that's why it says constraint already exists so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, right click select from list this is just for your understanding okay tangency and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to do the same thing on this side select tangent constraint and I'm going to delete it all right so now the tangency is deleted and if you see I'll be able to drag it uh, like whichever direction I want I'll be able to drag it okay see this all right so what I'm going to do is uh, geometrically constrain it first tangent constraint so I'm just going to click on this line select this arc click on this line select here yeah. okay so now we've added the tangency again okay and now what I need it says sketch needs to constrain uh, as basically because this length is not constrained so that does not matter to us okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim out the lines okay so how do, so I need to trim this 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 this and this okay so this is uh, it says uh, sketch needs three constraints okay we'll figure that out and for the trimming option itself like I said or uh, the easy way is to just drag it okay so I'm just gonna do a control Z all right and I'm just going to drag it for you so I'm just going to hit trim T and what I'm going to do is 
I'm just going to do this. All right. So if you see, the curve is achieved. And now we need to see uh, which one needs a constraint. Okay. We have already given the diameter for this. All right. And if you see, this particular length is not constrained. So if you notice this, I'll be... Uh, uh, see, you see this this particular length is not constrained so now I'm going to hit the geometric constraint and I'm just going to hit uh, the equal length okay so I'm going to try and make everything equal here so this is a collinear symbol okay so don't get confused this is an equal symbol so this one with this one okay I made it equal, so one more constraint remaining. I'm just going to make these two equal. Okay, and let's try uh, to check which constraint is missing here. So I believe dimensionally everything is constrained here. All right, the base profile is constrained and all of it. So let's check here. So this profile is constrained. It means 64.5 or 10.5. It's all done. Okay, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to zoom out. I'm just going to try to drag the points, okay, to check for the constraint. If you see, uh, I'm able to move it up, right? So basically, this length, like I said uh, before, this length is not constrained, okay? So though it's equal length, um, it just needs uh, the value, okay? So the value got deleted uh, when I trimmed the line. So we had given this value before, if you remember, the 28. So that got deleted. So I'm just going to dimension this. Control, you can use vertical or inferred, anything would do. So just select the point and select the line. Place it here and the value would be 28. And what, now we need just one more constraint and the best way to find it, like I said, is always to drag. And there's another way as well, okay. So just hit C. There, right it means it's under constraint it will actually um, show you like which line needs constraint even if you uh, open a dimensional constraint with d it will still show you uh, that particular direction okay so it will now let's find out which side this needs to be constrained okay so if you notice this midpoint constraint has got deleted somehow so let's so that's that is the reason it's just moving okay so this can be constrained by using the midpoint constraint, okay. So make sure you select the line, okay, and select the vertex. So now it's fully constrained, all right. So here we have a sketch and uh, this is a beginner sketch, okay. So in the next uh, session, I will discuss uh, a little more intermediate sketch, okay, and post that, we'll get into the modeling. All right. And the other options of the sketch will be discussed along with it. Thank you.